Oh no. Luna. Oh gosh. Luna was one of the first goats that we ever brought to our farm. She just hit 12 years old and her antics have brought so many laughs to our lives. But we recently noticed that she's starting to have trouble walking. And so today we're going to try to find a solution. Luna decided to be miniature sized. Yeah. Her legs hurt. Oh, I know, it's sad. I mean, in a way, oh, she's oh, gonna, gonna pee, pee while she's doing it. Okay. So I'm thinking one of the solutions is just to give her a few different places where she can eat, okay. right? So she has this area, she likes to eat over here, but then she loves to lay way over there. So what do you guys think about moving the hay feeder over there? Okay. The mini one, yeah. Okay, let's go do it. Like right there. Right here? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, because she always lays right in front of this tire. Okay. Not good? All the little ones followed us. I remember the time we went to go get her. We went to Oh, do you remember her. that? And she was like all alone in this pen. I just remember thinking she was like big and then in the <laughs> stall right the next to her goats. there was like a giant buck in the stall next to her. And oh my gosh. I was like, oh. Well, yeah, I remember her sire was huge. Yeah. But she's not that big for She's pretty she's itty bitty. Yeah, she's pretty small for a Nubian. I know, I feel bad she has to get up. Just don't lift with your knees, don't lift with your back. Oh gosh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Good job. Give her a little yeah, treat, Lydia. Both of them are bad. Mostly that one, though, on your side, Ethan. Yeah, I mean, that one looks bad. She won't put any weight. She doesn't like to put very much But it's on mostly it. that one. So let's, let's look like at it. Moment. So I just trimmed them, and there's, that's just regular old dirt that's in there. There's no... Oh, my, there's something. They've grown a little bit since I trimmed them, but I don't see... Was it after you trimmed them that she started limping? Um, it was. Or was she limping? No, it was. It was just like a couple days ago, really. I don't think she. Must be in her ankle then. Yeah. See, I don't think it's anything on the actual hoof. It's a little bit. Let's Maybe see. her knee. You put that. It's the fact that she lets it go back so far. Yeah. Well, that's like that's called a weak pastern, you know, letting it go back, but. Comparing it with the other one. I mean, they feel just, that one seems worse, you know? Maybe it's just arthritis? Yeah, or just laminitis. What about further up in the leg? That's, that's the best way to do it. Let's see, it's just like, it's just what like, yeah, it's just that one foot. So Luna has lived on our farm for a long time, pretty much ever since we got started here. And one of the biggest problems that she has is she's had overgrown hooves. So when we first brought her here, the previous owners never really took care of her hooves and they've just been sort of overgrown and hard to get back to their normal shape. And so over the years, I've tried really hard to trim them to get them back to that shape, but but they always bleed and she's really uncomfortable so I always stop at a certain point. So because of that, her legs, she kind of has her funny walk and her legs kind of um, are a little bit bent as her body compensates for that. But she's always been okay okay like pretty good she can get around and she's been able to walk and do lots of things but now it, i guess something's happened where she's gotten a little bit worse and so we're not really sure what to do every time the vet has come out for any reason <laughs> i always have him check luna because she's always had this ongoing sort of issue where her legs are sort of bent because her hooves are a little long and now we're just kind of at the point where we're like i don't know what else we can do we can put her on pain meds for sure but really a goat needs to be able to get around in order to have a healthy functioning rumen. First you would think, oh, goats don't need to graze if they have hay right there, but they have to keep moving in order for their rumen to function correctly. You can't like, <laughs> I know it's crazy, but you can't like amputate her front legs and you can't put her in a wheelchair or anything like that. It's just not possible for a goat like this so i don't know we're trying to figure out solutions we love luna and we love that she's been with us for so long but at the same time we're you know she's getting old too so you kind of have to take that into account well 
Luna's pretty old. She's 12 years old. Yeah. She's not going to live forever, but we're going to try our best <laughs> to see if she can. We are going to try lots of stuff. We're going to figure it out. Don't worry, Luna. The sun appears before the world has even stirred. Let's get out of here. Ready? Okay. <laughs> oh, this is what I love to see my kids playing Legos. <laughs> Kevin got this Lego advent calendar and you guys you guys have already opened all the ones. Well, because right. we started like <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. You guys used to play the Legos forever. You guys have almost have the same hair now. You know that Ethan grew his hair. <laughs> I'm just teasing, I'm just teasing. Lydia's is definitely cute, cuter. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I mean. <laughs> have you become friends with Luna? Oh, you don't have to get up. You don't have to get up. See if we can fool her. Yeah, okay, so stick him stick him in there and see if we can. Oh, there we go, there we go. She's such a brat, she. Watch out, babies. Scoot back. This is Luna time. Come on, Luna. She got it? I think so. <gasps> Did she drop some? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> She's such a brat. I think she got him. I think she got. Oh, there's one. Uh oh. She's so such a stinker. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Luna. All right, I think we got them all. I think we're good. She's walking now, so maybe. <laughs> it worked instantly. Instantly. Well, Luna's definitely going to be a tricky one <laughs> when it comes to giving her pain meds, but got to out trick the trickster here. But I'm excited because I found something that I think is going to work for her hooves. There's these shoes that you can get for horses and they make them for miniature horses too. They're like padded shoes that I think I can alter to help give padding like in the back of her foot. So we're going to get those here in a couple weeks and try them out. Hopefully we can give her a little bit of relief, see, uh, see how she does and hopefully she can walk around a little bit easier. Because they're, they're used That's to so being cute. The okay, look, we've got Reba and Dolly, who are best buds, BFFs. And then we've got, <laughs> that's cute, because the funny thing about them is that Prim and Raven weren't initially friends, but now they're friends because they had to endure Finnick together. Yeah, Finnick and together. <laughs> that is so cute. Are you guys besties? <laughs> Look at that. They have their faces on each other and they're both chewing. <laughs> chewing their cud. It's kind of cute because they're due about the same time, so they'll have their babies together and then then oh, they'll have their babies yeah, the same time together. That's fun. The fish always think that Salem is gonna feed them or something. Because they come crowd around her when she when she gets a drink. Every morning I feed the I feed the fish right when Salem goes in. And so they're trained. Yeah. Ethan's uh, back, guys. He's back. he's back with long, messy hair. Yeah. He's gonna let me give him a haircut though, so I'm pretty yeah. pretty excited about it. You ready to do some work? No. <laughs> You guys have to do all the hard work because you're the men. That's man's work. That's man's work. That's what Rudolph's dad said. What was his dad? We watched Rudolph, you know? <laughs> yeah. And he runs away, and so the dad's gonna go search for him. Yeah. And it's like the mom wants to come with him. And he's uh -huh. like, this is man's work. <laughs> 
He's not even a man, Ethan. <laughs> he is. He's a reindeer. And a reindeer. Yeah. <laughs> We're all done now, and it looks beautiful. You guys did a good job. Thank you. Helps when you have a big Ethan to help me with those heavy mats. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's see if they fit through the door. <laughs> So fat. Except Willow's not pregnant. Oh, she's but just she fat. she just she's just regular fat. So the plan is <laughs> we have one give birth in a stall and then they're in there for a week and then they come out and they have this whole area. We'll have a big shade structure here and feeding area. And then the next one delivers and then they'll just rotate out. Hopefully it all works and we have plenty of space for all the mamas and their babies yeah. to get along. Although some are a lot meaner than others. <laughs> like Olive's a bit of a bully. Whoa, she's just so excited to be in here. Yeah. But I think this is a pretty nice area. It's gonna be fun to have a bunch of babies in here. Yeah. You are a pro at notching out those little parts. Yeah. <laughs> it looks good. Of course she, she goes on the stump. Yeah, she likes her stumps. <laughs> Every winter she gets super fluffy. Yeah, she gets this nice undercoat. She'd be a good winter goat oh, to go, yeah, up, go up in the snow. Should we take you on a trip? She's like, nah. So the plan is to put pine shavings or livestock bedding down, and then we'll just clean that up as we go. And then we won't have a big dusty barn every time we have the mamas or babies in here. So I'm excited. I think it'll work out pretty darn well. All right. They want to be the opposite. They all want to get out now. Bye. Who's left? Bye, Daphne. Bye, Olive. Tilly's the last one. Come on, Tilly, you can do it. Roll your bowling ball. Have a good day. Okay. <laughs> Isn't it so fun to be at home? <laughs> hey. Ethan, Minnie's jealous. He's so jealous. <laughs> Okay. See, I'm still good at driving. You are a good driver. You haven't forgotten. Well, despite Luna being a little bit incapacitated, she's still the herd queen. Don't you forget that, because she doesn't let anybody else forget it either.